Just as normal, missing someone. And missing someone. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't seen my face before, hello. My name is Terry, and I'm a YouTuber and a hairstylist based in Accra, Ghana. I know it's been a minute, but in today's video, we're going to be doing something completely different. I hope you all enjoy watching. Please join the family by hitting the subscribe button down below and also give this video a big thumbs up if you do like it. So let's just get right into the video. Today I'm going to be installing this wig and yes, it's from my wig collection. And the thing is, I've made tons and tons of these braided wigs, but I've never particularly ever installed a bob braided wig on myself before. So today is going to be my first time and I just wanted to share this experience with you guys. <laughs> this is the wig I'm going to be installing. When you get a wig from Slade by Terry, it's going to come in this gold this gold cute bag is going to come with a thank you card an adjustable wig strap extra combs and yes and a care bibles so you can take care of your wig and it ends up lasting you years and years and years these wigs last forever as long as you can maintain it sorry my lights was off <laughs> and this is how the wig looks Surprise, surprise, it's a blonde wig and I'm really dark skinned. So let's see how this wig looks on me. <laughs> it comes with a couple of combs, I think three combs. And it also comes with adjustable wig straps. So three combs, an elastic band. It comes with baby hair, so you can really, really customize this wig to really fit your face. This particular wig that I'm going to be installing is a 4x4 closure wig. You can get this wig in a frontal version, full lace, 360. You choose. These wigs are completely customizable to your specifications. I do think the lace is a bit too grey for my skin tone. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, I think the lace is a little too grey. So I'm going to be tinting the lace so it matches my skin tone a lot better. Let me put on the wig so you see exactly what we are going to be working with. For extra security, I'm going to fix this comb like under my cornrows, like right here. And this particular comb, yeah, so I'm also going to stick that like, I don't know if you can see, like right under here. And then I'm going to fix the elastic band and then the last, the third comb goes under. So this is how the wig is looking. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like it. It's not, it's not very heavy. In comparison to other braided wigs, this wig is, is not heavy at all. It's so lightweight. It looks really cute on the side part, don't you think? I'm going to be tinting this lace shortly and I'll do it here on camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. But let's see it's in the middle part two. So it's originally a middle part wig but I also think it's going to look nice as a side part. But yeah, this is how the lace, this is how the lace looks. But do tell me what you think about this wig in the comment section down below. Have you ever tried a braided wig? If you haven't, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you have, also let me know in the comment section down below. I'm super curious. I, I really like how flat the closure section of this wig looks. Can you see? Can you see? It's like so flat and you can easily move it around. It's not bulky at all. I like that. And it looks super cute as a side part. So the wig is super super secured after you've inserted your combs and it's really even secured after the elastic band. You know, so you don't really need much security with this wig. And it really is can you see how flat can you see how flat is looking? I mean <laughs> go me. We're going to be tinting the lace right now. 
The first thing I'm going to do is take a sponge or a foam and then I'm going to be using my Ritz dye. It's perfect for dark skin. I don't know why I was so scared to film this video for you guys. Maybe because it's my first time. So the hair on the lace is blonde so I'm just going to dab a little bit of the dye onto the lace and I'm going to be trying my best not to uh, stain the hair in any way so I'm going to be really really gentle. I don't know if anybody else does this, but I'm wearing two wig caps. One underneath and one on top. This just helps my hair to lay super, super flat. So our wig is finally secured. So can you see the difference in the lace after it's been tinted? yeah that's what we want it's not too dramatically brown i didn't want to dye the hair actually i wanted the base to remain as blonde as it was i think you can tint the roots if you want personal preference this is actually this is my preference and i love the roots still blonde what I'm going to be doing now is using my Got To Be spray to secure the lace and then cut the baby hairs. I'm going to admit that I'm not the best when it comes to cutting baby hairs but we're going to try, we're going to do it together. So I'm just going to secure this section away with a clip. Then I'm going to be spraying my Got To Be spray to secure the lace. So the whole got to be spray blow dryer step is completely optional. I'm just doing this because I'm extra but you can just throw this wig on and go. So the last thing we're going to do is baby hairs and I, I just have to put that out there right now. I'm not a pro at baby hairs. I'm not. <laughs> Alrighty, so I think this is a lot of baby hairs we have to work with. So let me just cut this excess lace off and then we'll do the baby hairs. So for this step, I'm going to be using my trusty brow razor. If I'm looking here, I'm looking in the mirror. Please guys, be extra careful when you're cutting the lace so you don't hurt yourselves. I know I look a little crazy right now, but it does get better. I'm just going to go in with a little hair gel to help me lay my edges. I'm just going to go in a little with my foundation on the center. To make sure it blends in really, really well. And yeah, this is how the wig looks. I'm going to secure this and then do my makeup really quick. But basically, because this is not a makeup tutorial, I'm just going to speed through my makeup really, really quick and then come back. We're done, we're done, we're done. And here's the final look. I, I think this hair is going to look so cute with some hair accessories, maybe some beads and, and some shiny clips or something. What do you guys think? 
Thank you guys so much for watching my styling slash wig review. If you're interested in purchasing this wig or any other wig from my wig collection, I'm going to leave direct links to this wig and to my shop in my description box down below. So, so feel free to check it out. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't. I'd love, love, love to have you a part of this family. And I'll see you in my next video next week. But until then, bye.